Hi guys, today I'm working with the chest basket kit from We Are Knitters and inside this kit you are going to have two balls of t-shirt yarn, you'll have a crochet hook, a darning needle and a label. You don't have to use this kit for this tutorial, you could use your own um, t-shirt yarn or fabric yarn and I would probably recommend a 10mm crochet hook. I'm going to be showing you how to work with the actual pattern that came with the kit but I will be making adaptations to this um, as well and telling you how you can make your own adaptations. So I hope you enjoy the video. So your kit will come with some instructions of how to crochet your basket and it gives you some uh, measurements on the back here. Now if you actually look inside, it does mention here single crochet. Now anywhere that you see the word single crochet, you know that these are US terms. So if you're from the UK and reading this, if you see that, you know that you need to um, actually work a double crochet. It's just the difference in terms. So first of all, what it says is you're going to need to cast on 13 chains. So we're going to do that right now. So you want to take your yarn and you want to create a slip knot. It's going to be di very different working with a um, like a t-shirt yarn uh, if you're used to using a double knit or something like that. So it does take a little bit of getting used to but the techniques are actually the same. I find when I'm using a t-shirt yarn that I don't need to wrap my fingers around the yarn so much. Um, I literally just put it around my fingers like this because you don't need as much tension and I often hold on to the um, the loop on the hook just here. So same as normal, you want to yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through 13 times to create that first chain. So pause the video and work your 13 chains. So once you've chained 13, you're then going to work on to the next uh, row and it says here to crochet rounds 1 to 13 in single crochet. You need to crochet the single crochet from the second chain. Now I've just given this a quick go and I find that when you do it from the second chain, rather than having 13 stitches, which it suggests here, you actually have 12. So I'm not quite sure what the discrepancy is there, whether I'm doing something wrong or the, the pattern's actually wrong, but um, I'm going to go with what, what I think. So we're not going to count the chain on the hook, it's not this one here, it's the next one here. Um, so you want to do your single crochet, which is double crochet in the UK, insert your hook, pull it through, you'll have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over and pull it through both loops on the hook, then move across to your next chain, insert, yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two. So what you want to do is do that into each of the chains along the uh, foundation chain and meet me back when you've got to your last one and I'll show you how to move up to your second row. So once you've got to the end of your row it should look like this and um, as I suspected or as I um, said before you're going to have 12 stitches along your row. Now what you want to do to move up to the next row is chain one so you'll always chain one at the beginning of your row, turn your work and then you're going to double crochet or single crochet for US terms into this next space just here. So you go ahead and insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through and then grab the yarn and pull through two. And you're going to repeat that into each of the stitches along this row. So the pattern says you want to do this for rows one to 13. Because I've only actually got 12 stitches um, on one row, I'm actually only going to do 12 rows so it keeps it square. So make your choice, whichever you want to do, 12 or 13, you might just have to adapt this pattern slightly. And um, I shall meet you back once you've done your rows. Right, so now you're going to have a square piece of work just like this. And if I grab the instructions, uh, let's see what it says to do next. It says now we're going to crochet the sides of the basket. In order to do so, you need to place a single crochet in each of the 
holes formed around the stitches and rounds around the square base. Doing this you're going to crochet all the sides of the basket at the same time in a circular fashion. At the end of the round 14 you will have a total of 52 stitches. So mine might differ from this just because I've got the 12 by 12 rather than 13 by 13. So what it's saying to do now is to crochet into each of these spaces um, and if you count from the bottom upwards you should find that you'll have um, gaps in your work um, all the way up. So I'm going to chain one just to create the first stitch and then I'm going to insert my hook into this space here and then I'm going to insert my hook into this space here. and into the next space and into the next so I'm going to crochet into each of these spaces along this row now just before I move on though I'm going to pop a little stitch marker which is just another piece of um, yarn and tie it to that first stitch just so I know that's the beginning of the round and then if you want to pause the video and I'll meet you back for um, how to do the corner okay so I'm at the end of my row now and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my work and then I'm going to work into each of the stitches along this side exactly the same as before and I've just done my calculations and by my uh, particular uh, pattern, because I've adapted it slightly, I should have the 48 stitches all the way around rather than the 52 that it says in the pattern. So if you want to pause the video and work your stitches and I shall meet you back at the beginning and I show you, shall show you how to finish off this row and then go on to the next one. So I've just done my um, stitches all the way around. This is my 47th stitch and the 48th stitch counts as inserting into that um, first chain and I'm just going to slip stitch and that makes the 48th stitch just there. So what it says to do now is to actually to do the next two rows in exactly the same thing. So you'll have three rows around the edge in the amount of stitches that you've done. So if you want to pause the video and go ahead and start working around your base or your sides twice more and I shall meet you back once you've done those next two rounds. So now that you've finished those rounds you should find that your edges start to curl up and that's good because that's forming the sides and then we are ready to create um, the handles for our for the sides of the basket. So what you actually want to do is crochet four and then we're just going to chain six. So crochet four, single crochet uh, just as you've done before, so that's double in the UK. One, two, three, and you would do a fourth. Now, because um, mine's actually slightly or one stitch shorter, I think I'm going to just chain four. One, two, three and four so adapt that however you want to and because I've chained four I'm going to miss four stitches and then start doing my um, single crochet in that next stitch so um, adapt it however you want to so say for example I've done a chain four and I've skipped four stitches so carry on working your way around and then once you get to the opposite side, repeat the same that you've done on this side. So um, I'm just going to work my way around and work my way to the opposite side. Meet me back there and I shall just show you what to do again for that side. So I've worked my way around to the opposite side. And as before, I'm going to chain four. One, two, three. and four. I'm going to skip four um, stitches and then I'm going to do uh, carry on with my stitches all the way round. 
So that creates your handles on each side. Go ahead and work your way to the beginning and I shall show you how to do the next round. So we're now on the final row and I've continued going round with that double crochet. Once you get to the section where you have your chain um, four or what, however many chains you've done, you're simply going to do a, um, a single crochet or double crochet if you're in the UK into each one of those chains. Just like so might be a bit tricky and then once you've gone into each one of those chains you are just going to work around exactly the same as normal into each one of your stitches so work your way round stop when you get to your very uh, first stitch in the row and because this, this is the last row I'm going to show you how to finish off and tie in your end so once you've finished and you've gone all the way round, what you want to do is insert your hook into the next um, stitch and just slip stitch over. And then you're just going to yarn over and pull through. Take a nice long thread and snip off your yarn. And then once you've snipped off, you want to pull out your yarn. And then in the kit they give you this darning needle. So you want to thread up your darning needle. And you're simply going to sew your thread into your work. So just weave it in, in and out of your stitches. The more stitches you can weave in and out of, the better. You might need to do it a little bit at a time. And then once you've done that, just give it a bit of a pull and then you can snip off the excess uh, yarn that you don't want to use. Take off this stitch marker and there you have your basket. So if I was to make this again, I think I would add more rows to the side just to make it a bit of a deeper basket. Uh, but I'm fairly happy with um, the sizings that I chose to do otherwise with 12 by 12. In terms of what I have left, um, I unraveled mine from the, the inside, which is why it kind of looks a bit like this. Um, but this is what is left of one of the balls of yarn, and I still have another. So you could perhaps get three or four baskets out of one of your kits, which is excellent. But I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope that you have fun adapting the pattern to suit um, however you want yours to be. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!